What's up guys, so today I'm going to be going over Charlie 3. It's a new Cardano Oracle. That was the first project that was listed on Cardstarter. And later I'll explain exactly what an Oracle is. So if we look on Etherscan, we can tell that the assets haven't been consolidated yet, which is good. So this is still a really early project, guys. Like I said, it's an Oracle and let's talk about what an Oracle is. Now is a juicy time to get in on the infrastructure that's going to be laid out on Cardano. Cardano is rising right now. And so what you want to do is get in early on the projects that are going to be on Cardano. It was the same way that happened with Binance. And so looking at this project, it was the first project on Cardstarter. And I talked about this project in the past. And Cardano is going to need an Oracle if it's going to operate in DeFi. And right now we have Chainlink, but it still has issues with inoperability. So it's interesting to see an Oracle on Cardano. On so in blockchain, once it's written, it's immutable and unchangeable. So that means it has to be good data in in order for good data to come out. So what an Oracle is, is basically a gatekeeper. It receives multiple sources, let's say four, and then it tells the blockchain which information is correct. So some examples of when you would need an Oracle is to check the weather, the sports game result, the horse game result, etc. right? Not only that, but the most important thing is that you have to be able to trust the data that the Oracle sources you. So we'll get four sources, let's say for an example, of the horse race result. And it's supposed to figure out which one's correct. Maybe it averages the four results out or it finds out which one's the one that's best. It somehow is supposed to give the blockchain the correct data so that good data can come out. So like I said earlier, if in DeFi is going to operate in the Cardano space, an Oracle is going to be necessary because the information and data has to be correct and verified. So I do think this is a good play to make right now. So let's take a look at the tokenomics real quickly. What's really interesting as well is there's only 100 million in supply, 18% going to the seed, 13 going to private sector, 6 to the public, uh, 31 to liquidity pools and farming, 3 to liquidity, 8 to dev, 1 in reserve, and 20% to team. Like I said guys, it's a super low cap coin. You're at 285 right now. It's a good time to get in on the infrastructure of Cardano.